Hey guys, it's Tanner here with STK Hay and Cattle. Alright. We're out with the bull and steer mob now. Might get a video out with the calves today too. Or the cows and new calves we're having born. But we've got green Bermuda, you can see where the sand blew over the blue on it. The uh, doesn't really show up in the on the camera, but there's a little bit of green coming on the sand hills there. But this is what the uh, steers and bulls are on. It's Bermuda grass. It's not great, but coming out of a drought, it's not that bad. I mean, we can at least get a bite of it, so and it's not not completely gone. They're uh, they've been on here. It'll be 30 days uh, next week. And uh, we'll be moving them next week onto some fresh Bermuda grass, and we'll start strip grazing them a little bit. And we'll we'll walk over there and look at some of their next pasture. But you know, they say that life cycle of flies is uh, like 28 days. So you want them off of the off of their pasture in at least 28 days. So I'll be getting them off about then. I'll be moving those four calves that uh, I pinned up. I'll be moving them back out here. They're about done with their bale of hay. So we've got some good rain. Some rain chances coming next week. Electric fence is reading uh, 10,000 volts, so that should get their attention. We haven't had any calves out of that bull yet. He was turned out a week or two later than the other two bulls in a different herd, so uh, nothing from him. We'll be setting up their pasture pasture for him and his for the cows that he breeds we'll be moving them on it next week so they can calve out there it's pretty rough rental property you'll be able to see it in some of the coming videos it's it's all trees there's nothing nothing out there but we've had a lot of calves from this baldy bull right here he, uh, he seems to have done a lot of work so far out in the out in the cow herd so got a lot of cows having white faced calves so that'll that'll work that's an oonal the other two bulls that he was with were uh Registered Pharaoh Red Angus bulls are what's in my coal cow herd now. I'm trying to get them all bred. <laughs> that bull's Javier. We didn't buy him until last fall. And the uh, Alabama sale for for uh, Pharaoh. So uh, he'll be getting his chance here pretty soon. But everything out here looks good. Full bellies. Putting on weight. A lot of them are starting to slick off. Especially some of the older calves. Yeah. 
looking at how it's going so far from the year we've had. So. It's nice to be able to see something green. happy with the fact that we don't have a lot of weed weeds or anything growing out here in the Bermuda uh, it was last year this time I had knee high Bermuda so it's a uh, it's a lot shorter right now but it'll keep coming now this stuff hasn't been fertilized and five years so there's been no no chemical fertilizer just hay and cattle and it's it keeps keeps on coming I can see I can see a little bit of oats still out here. I don't know how long they'll hold on. But they'll uh, they'll make more uh, more biomass to turn back into the soil. So we'll take all the growth we can get from everything. Here's the, uh, here's the next pasture. I've got pictures of standing about in this exact same spot last year. And uh, it was mid-May and we had we had knee-high Bermuda grass. This stuff's maybe six to eight inches. It's it's good, but not great. The cattle will will do good in it. I'm not sure what this is, but the cattle love it. And it's all over this pasture. See a smaller one there, over there. They, they hit that stuff hard when they come into a pasture. They will run and pick it up. I don't know, I guess I can use one of those apps and find out, but this stuff is all over this Bermuda. And if we had sprayed, they wouldn't have anything like that to eat. I see the occasional tumbleweed. Here's one. Growing and what's around it. Bare soil. But you can see the Bermuda closing in on it. So, we can give these calves, I don't know, put, put those on 40 acres, or well, put 40 calves on five acres, excuse me, move them a couple days a week, that, that'll get, get across it, it'll, it'll look like a completely different farm. I bet that thing gets eaten. Got a little bit of rye growing. 
I didn't plant this field really. I spread some seed on it, but it was it was more like cleanings and bottom of grain bins that it uh I wasn't guaranteed any kind of any kind of actual crop off of it. And you see where the tumbleweeds are blown in here. Down at this bottom. So I'll show you the the cheat grass we got growing down here. It's not my not my favorite. But in the spring, it's always green. And it seeds itself. Cattle eat it. So this stuff, if you wear shorts out here, walk across this field, you will have your socks full of these little seed heads those things are itchy as heck they'll get down in your socks and they stay but i mean that's that's decent forage especially for this area coming out of as much drought as we've had recently it's uh cattle will go to town on that and there's plenty of it out here it's already going to seed so i'll have more of it next year uh, a lot of people don't like it they'll spray it out of their bermuda fields and say it stunts their bermuda well i'm not here to just farm bermuda i'm here to here to have so, something to graze year round and uh, if mother nature's going to provide it i'm going to use it it's not bothering me one bit and it might it might cause a couple calves to get a little burr in their mouth or something and yeah it'll work its way out it always does it's not tall enough to cause eye problems and I don't have that many eye problems, honestly, so I'll, uh, I'll just take the risk because that is some of the best looking pasture I've seen in, in close to a year, so we didn't have this much cheat last year for whatever reason. I'm honestly surprised to see it. See an old bale of hay unrolled there. Cattle didn't didn't clean it all up, but that's fine. Earthworms, earthworms will recycle it. It'll it'll break down and go back into the soil. You can see the grass growing right through it. This, no, I, that Bermuda grass will just come right through it all. There won't be, in this area, that won't cause a bare spot or a dead spot. In another 30 days, it'll be a green spot. Let's see if we can find anything underneath it. I think this is blue stem hay, which is more of a native grass. You can see it. It's got a lot of moisture underneath there. There's a Bermuda sprout right there, sticking up. That's, that's wet.
that'll that'll decompose it'll it'll work back into the soil and I bet you I bet you in a year there's a next winter there'll be a dark green strip coming straight down that hill I see it everywhere I feed a unrolled bale of hay. But I think from here we'll uh, move over and go check the uh, cow calf herd. They are, it's about four miles away, so we'll drive over there. Look at them, we've had a few more calves since the last video I made, so we'll catch you here, here again in a second. Well, we came out to new calf land, fairly close to the gate. We did our deed. Solid black bull calf. Got to be out of one of the red Angus bulls. Someone else is concerned about their calf. I saw it. I saw it a little bit further west from here. But that's a that cow there is the mother of the bull we call Noonal. Her name is Bugs. Actually, she's Bugs Jr. Bugs number one had a broken hip when she was she had been about 11 years old. But she walked over there. I mean, she, the calf's real fresh. You can still see the placenta hanging out of the cow. This, I drove up. She. Uh, Stepped back a few steps and let me tag it. And now she's just saying, all right, come here. I'd like to see him like that. We'll uh, go around and see what else we can stir up. All right, guys, we're back again. Just went and fed a bale to the rest of the cows. Got it unrolled over the hill. We'll go look at it here in a second there's the one we just tagged nice little calf I mean if that's not cabbies I don't know what is walks a little ways which one to catch up so. all is well Actually, it's a heifer, so I don't know if we can call it junior. Keep up, old girl. I think that'll be a nice, nice heifer for the herd. We only have two so far, that's what she's going to have to be. But that's a. Uh, she was born in 17, so that'd be a six year old cow. So it'd be calf number four for her. Here's, here's how I keep my, uh, keep my records for the year. Got all these little, I don't even know what they are, just standard little book, little memo book them for your pocket whatever uh, but they uh, comes in handy it's this one's probably got my last year's calving in it too if I was to think but it's got notes written down for which one's calved and which one's which one's the coal um, anyways you can see here we've had 
technically had uh, seven calves. They we calf we tagged number six. Uh, on May fourth, we had a cow have a oh I call it an aborted fetus. It you could see bits and pieces of calf. It it wasn't a good sight. Uh, my wife actually saw it and. She was going to take the cat kids out to uh, pet the new baby calf. Well, that wasn't wasn't a pleasant one. Um, but that's that's life on a farm and ranch. So it is what it is. Yesterday we watched 102 calf and have calf 304. We watched number 83 calf and have number 305. Um, today we number 13 calved and uh, we tagged her with the uh, 306 but the B stands for bull H's stand for heifer um, I got little N's and G's I just like to try and take a guess of what what bull the calves are out of um, N is noonal G is our bull grass guy he is a real dark red bull then we have Hobbs so he'd be an H um, he's a real light red color kind of reddish orange so we'll uh, be hard to tell especially on a black calf which red Angus he's out of or she is out of but anyways just something I do doesn't mean anything nothing's registered here really so I've got some of my Herefords are registered but I like only one or two of them uh, some of my Aberdeens could be registered obviously my Red Angus Bulls are registered the uh, white Aberdeen Bull is registered but nothing else is uh, nothing else is registered See where I've unrolled a couple bales of hay down these hills. Uh, the calf we just tagged. Mama got it up next to the hay. Um, there's no hay ring. So, hold on. I got a phone call I'd probably better take. So, I'll be right back. Alright, guys. Back. Cattle have moved around a little bit. perfectly marked got the white feather on her neck and all that she's a real real looker so it's out of a first calf ever hey uh, bugs was our first cow that had a cow supposed to get in the 90s so uh, but the cows are walking to the shade trees they're in the far far corner of the pasture got water in the northeast corner and shade in the southwest here so see that new black calf he's at the bottom of the hill headed down cardinals just stuck in her face she is uh She's bred to Yankee, the white Aberdeen bull. She is 25% uh, Aberdeen herself, so love a nice 50% Aberdeen calf. Well, there's that heifer standing up. Get a little closer on in here.
nice cow someday, I think. We'll have to see. So far, so good. Actually, Bugs's full sister. Same sire, they're both out of a Hereford bull and a black mop faced cow that came out of my grandpa's herd. I bought my first cows in 2011 as uh, bred heifers and Heifer stalker, they're stalker heifers, and uh, borrowed a uh, heifer bull to breed them all too. And uh, anyways, she's out of one of my original cows, a Hereford bull. So, but 2011, my grandpa was downsizing his herd uh, due to. Uh, the last drought we had, which the drought we're hopefully coming out of right now, uh, is is worse than drought to this point. calves that dark red calf he belongs to the cow that's right behind him a little bit bigger red mop face this back cow that just walked behind her and the little red baldy that's got to be out of noonal uh, she is a half Coriani quarter Hereford quarter red Angus the uh, red mop face is half red Angus, half Hereford. So her calf here is three quarters Hereford. Or three quarters red Angus, a quarter Hereford. I'd say he's out of grass, guy. Looking at how dark his coat is. That is a nice looking bull calf if I ever saw one. He's a dandy. bedded her calf down in a gopher mound. Cute little sucker. Got the red goggle eyes. Solid white face. calves out here somewhere. Uh, one's a black baldy out of a full blood Coriani. 
see him soon, hopefully. His mother's pretty good at keeping him bedded down. Lucky will find it. We might have a Hereford cow in labor actually right now. See her right there. I do believe we're in the process of having another calf right there. As she waddles off that kinked tail. So we call it a telltale sign of a uh, cow in labor. So she's walking away from the herd. So we'll have, have a little more tagging to do later today. Give her about an hour or so and I bet we have it. This dude will rival Javier whenever he's grown. That thing's all bull. Nice dark red. Already has the darker forehead. I'm excited to see him come up. He comes up bold. See how he grows out. I really like that look. Get your fly resistance, heat tolerance, low birth weight, calving ease, grass efficient, all in one right there. Now I won't keep one that has horns. Just I prefer to keep a pulled herd. Now if I get one that has scurs, Javier has scurs, I'll keep it. That does increase your chance of having horns in my experience. But I know statistically it should be 50-50 out of a horned cow. One heck of an udder on her. I don't know if we can find her. Here we are. 
look at that thing she that udder was about to burst last night she calved oh somewhere around eight o'clock last night but that is plenty of milk for a calf absolutely plenty grass calves with that much milk will grow phenomenally so if, if every cow I had was like that I'd I think I'd be a rich man those will raise some of the best calves you ever had they don't have to be born big they just have to be born alive those things will thrive I'm a poet and I didn't even know it thank you guys I want to go off find something to do and come back and tag a calf here this afternoon so you guys have a good rest of your weekend and we'll see you next time here on STK cattle and hay thank you